they should just hire me as the ambassador now because okay <laughs> Revlon if you're looking for a hairbrush ambassador I'll be yours okay call me really <laughs> call me Revlon call me okay <laughs> I'll be back <laughs> hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Yasser and today we are going to do another I try video although this is kind different because technically I'm not trying it for the first time I've had this blow dryer for a very long time but I'm basically sharing with you guys my Revlon brush blow dryer and it looks like this I've had it for three years now and it's like the best best $35 I've ever spent like this has been so awesome it has served me very very well and some of you guys are always asking me what I use to blow dry my hair so I figured I'll just do a review for this blow dryer obviously I like it already and that's why I'm actually doing a giveaway and I'm actually going to give away this one to one of you guys since we got a 10k hey hey we got a 10k guys like this is so 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 amazing I didn't think we'd get there anytime soon, but we did. And it's all thanks to you guys who subscribe. And by the way, if you haven't yet, girl, let's get to 20K, so just subscribe, okay? Just subscribe already, and I'm going to have the details for the giveaway towards the end of the video, but let's get into it. I actually bought a new one, and I realized that this thing has gone up in price since I bought it. Like, it's literally doubled in price, I'm just like, what the heck kind of nonsense my god i tried to go to my local supply store to buy it and it was sold out everywhere which i'm just like why why but i guess that just tells you how awesome it is because it is sold out okay so i had to order it on amazon and that's what i'm going to show you guys how it looks like when it comes from the box but i'm going to use my old one to do this review and then i'll give away the new one so Make sure you enter the giveaway if you want it, okay? Uh, so basically, this is what it looks like. It looks like this, the old one. So I've had mine for three years, as you can see. This is what happens to the little brushes after three years. They kind of bend. It's kind of dirty, so please don't don't judge, okay? Don't judge me, okay? I try to clean it up a little bit, but <laughs> it's not getting clean. But anyways. This is what the brush looked like, like after three years. As you can see, my hair pretty much pulls it and it bends it. But don't say this is a con for it. I've had this for three years and me, I use it like probably like once every two weeks for the past three years. And my sisters use it too sometimes. So it has, it has been through some things, you know, it has been through a lot of things. And I don't know if you guys remember the old blow dryer, like the normal, like normal blow dryer and that comb attachment. When I was using that, I literally had to buy like two or three of those comb attachments just to keep it on the back burner because I know those little combs used to break all the damn time. Like all the time. I had to keep buying new of those like hair brushes all the time. So this one looking like this in three years, I'm okay with it. I am not hating at all I'm okay and it still works for me like I'm still using it and the little brushes none of them have fallen down only some of these ones have bent like some of the ones on the outside are bent right now but otherwise this is awesome okay and the cable does go around I don't know if you guys remember but I was telling you the cable that goes around is really nice and convenient because it means like as you're blow drying your hair there's no wear and tear on the wire itself so you can use the blow dryer <laughs> but as long as you want this so until this thing dies I'm not buying a new one for myself okay I am not until I cannot use it again I'm not buying a new one so I have my hair washed and detangled right now and I'm going to try it for you guys and show you how it looks like so my hair is actually kind of dry a little bit it's not dry dry but it's kind of dry since I was running some errands and I'm going to have that in the vlog <laughs> I am vlogging hey girl hey <laughs> anyways I'm going to have the details of what I was doing in the vlog so if you want to check that out definitely do that girl okay so let me put some water in my hair in fact I'll do it on camera Let's spray water in my hair and then I'll blow dry it after and show you how awesome this blow dryer is. Okay, give me a moment sis. So I will do this. Guys, I have my water in this little bottle. I don't know why I did this. I like the little spraying thing. Like I feel like it sprays a lot of water and it just like it than my normal uh, spray bottle. So I'm just going to pin this on the side a little bit.
to detangle my hair i use an electric detangler brush yes sis we are moving up in life we're using electric detangling brushes now <laughs> But I'm going to have a review for that on Tuesday, so no, no, no. I'm going to have a review for that next week on Thursday, so make sure you tune in for that. You don't want to miss that. <laughs> you don't want to miss the tea on the electric detangling brush. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. So it actually does feel kind of dry. I'm going to spray the water. Y'all can see the water, right? Okay. There it is. There it is. There's water all over my hair now. My hair is white like this because I have oil in it and I also have a styling cream. So that's why it's looking like this all white. But let me blow dry it and then we'll see. So I'm going to plug this bad boy in. So it only has like three settings. It has like an off and on and then in the middle like medium heat or like medium strength and then like a high heat or high strength. I usually put it on the high because honestly like if I put it on the medium like this thing takes forever to blow dry my hair and girl I don't have time for that seriously. I really do not and I honestly think you apply more heat to your hair when you're blow drying it like on the low setting you're going over and over and over again like it just doesn't make sense to me so I just do it on the high setting and it takes me like 10 to 15 minutes to blow dry my hair I'm like I'm out of this house or like you know I style my hair after that so that's why I like using the high setting but do you sis if you want to use the middle then go on ahead and do that but I'm going with the high. Like, do you guys let me know. Do you really think they use less heat on your hair when you use the middle setting or instead of like the higher temperature setting? Let me know in the comment section what you guys do and why. Okay, let me know. So I'm going to go in with the brush, okay? I'm just going to turn it on to the higher setting. So obviously I won't be able to speak because this bad boy is loud. It's not too loud. It's like normal blow dryer loud. And I'm going to turn it on and we'll taste it. here we have it okay so this is my hair like blow dried it's dry I have some castor oil in my hair so my hair is kind of sticking to I normally don't like blow drying my hair with oil in it but I already have the oil in it when I'm detangling it so yeah we're working with that I mean, the oil makes my hair really hard when I'm blow drying it or anyone else's hair so it kind of burns my hand a little bit so I don't like usually having oil in my hair when I'm blow drying my hair but as you can see this is what it looks like. If you guys watch the hair straightening brush review video, I'm going to leave a link down below if you want to check it out. I told you guys that my brush blow dryer basically does the same thing. As you can see, it does almost, like literally almost the same thing. So, so I was like, like, I don't need to keep the hair straightening brush just because the hair blow dryer brush works perfectly fine for me and it does the same job. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to do another section so that you guys can see. So one of the tricks to not use actually a lot of heat in your hair is to wait for your hair to kind of dry a little bit. And when I say dry a little bit, I mean like 15, 20 minutes when you're out of the shower, just let it air dry for a little bit and then go with a blow dryer brush after that because then it's not too, too wet. So you don't need a lot of like uh, blow drying to blow dry your hair. I'm going to add more water to this section. Just a little. I'd suggest to make sure that your hair is detangled before you use the brush. Uh, if not, I think it's going to tag on your hair. Okay guys, so we are looking good. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I hope it helps you decide if it's something that you'd get. Uh, right now, I checked the price and on Amazon, it's on for 59 Canadian dollars, close to $60 basically. I'll let you know what that is in US dollars right here. And is it worth it? 
I think it is like when I got it, it was $35 and the price was pretty much doubled like since three years ago it's still worth it to me I think it's an appliance that you keep for a long time I've had mine for three years and for three years $60 for three years it's still a good buy honestly and I think I'm probably going to keep it for another year before I go out and buy another one so $60 for four years still worth it for me I'll leave a link down below on Amazon uh, if you want to check that out you can check that out and see they also have like some dupes of this Revlon hairbrush dryer so if you want to check that out you can definitely check that out as well I've not seen like bad reviews of this brush so check it out if you want to uh, I'm sure there's some other videos on YouTube about this brush so if you want to check those other videos out and see what the other girls have to say about it and definitely knock yourself out girl but I'm going to blow dry my hair right now and then I'll come back with some final thoughts and things like pros and cons that I found with this brush and everything and I'll also tell you the giveaway details because I know you want it you want it you want it you Anyways, this is what my hair looks like after I finish blow drying it. It looks like that. <laughs> okay, so final thoughts about the blow dryer. I basically, I obviously like it. I told you that already. It's no secret. I like it. I like that it's so much easier to use than the normal blow dryer that I used to use. Uh, the brush bending things, I, I don't like that the brush bristles bend, but I've had it for three years, so I feel like it's still worth it for the money. It's so easy to use and it's really quick. One tip that I'll give you, if you don't want to use a lot of heat in your hair, then wait for your hair to air dry for about 15 to 20 minutes after you shower, and then use the blow dryer after that. Because your hair has less water in it, so you're not spending a lot of time blow drying, and you're also not spending a lot of heat or using a lot of heat in your hair that made sense <laughs> <laughs> now let's get into the giveaway okay okay so for the rules for the giveaway are very very simple you have to like this video and leave a comment down below why I should give you the blow dryer or why you like this channel okay I feel like some of you have already told me like why you like this channel but go on ahead and do it sis <laughs> I like hearing it <laughs> I still like hearing it. So just leave a comment down below why you want the blow dryer or why you like this channel and I'm going to select one person in the comment section and I will send them the blow dryer. So this is actually open to international so I'm going to be sending it to wherever you are. Please make sure that it's a place that I can actually send it to you. Um, yeah, but basically open to everyone. Leave a comment down below, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also thumbs up this video, okay? And if you can, girl, please do your girl a favor and share this video, okay? It will be nice, it will be nice if you can please share this video. Okay guys, so the winner is going to be announced in the video next week on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I do upload my weekly hairstyle videos, so make sure you check that out. And also turn on the notification bell so you do know when I upload that video. And you can check if you're the winner of the hairbrush dryer. Jesus. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it anymore. But anyways, check the video on Tuesday. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So leave a comment down below tell me else that you'd like to see me try and make sure you enter the giveaway. Make sure you share the video and thumbs it up as well. I'll see you next week on Tuesday, guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye.